Dadi Chan Kichi, whom Brother Victor just referred to, is nearing 104 in the coming months. And taking care of an organization, or let me call it a global family, which is spread in over 140 countries, has around 22,000 surrendered sisters and brothers, has over 9,000 centers, and millions who are coming regularly to practice the art of meditation. And even at this age of almost 104, she's traveling all over the world. And one day when I was with her, and a journalist asked her, Dadi, from where do you get so much energy? And he was expecting a very profound, long answer as to from where she gets all her energy. And she answered in three words. She said, don't waste it. So it's not about getting that energy. It's about, we all have it, but we tend to waste it. And just looking at her in action every day is practical proof that who we are inside and how we are feeling inside has nothing to do with how much we have to do outside. Let's take a moment of silence and let's check the quality of our life. We are here today for our own self. This is life. This is life. It will give us exactly opposite of what we expect. Yeah? Yeah. I can want silence. You can want silence. We can request. We can repeatedly request. We can instruct. And sometimes if our role allows, we even order. And in spite of doing it repeatedly, the other person will be just the way they want to be. Anyone ever experienced that? Yes? Yeah? And it is those moments, it is those behaviors, it are those scenes which just don't turn out to be the way we wanted them to be, the way we expect them to be. In spite of sharing with them that it is for their good, when family, friends, children, just don't be the way we want them to be. It is at that moment that I allow myself to say, getting angry is natural. Ah. Getting irritated is? Getting irritated is normal. And when I say that to my mind, I create an inner programming which says, each time people are not my way, each time the scene is not my way, each time things don't happen the way I want them to be, the way I expect them to be, then crying here is normal. <laughs> and so my mind obeyed, because it's my mind. It will obey what I ask it to do. And so we said, every time people are not your way, you are allowed to get upset. Because it's normal to get upset when people are not our way. And while we were doing that, the number of times we started reacting in the day started increasing. How many of you on an average can react at least once every day? How many more than once every day? Oh, this has more hands than the once every day. How oh, sweet. And when we started reacting, we started radiating an energy into the universe of reaction. 
others who had no situations which were not their way also consumed their energy and started reacting even when things were fine for them outside. And very soon we reached a stage today where we started believing reacting is normal. Getting upset is normal, getting disturbed is normal, worrying is normal, anger is normal. And then we had to come together to discuss of how to be happy. How to be happy. In some countries today, they're introducing a new ministry which is called the Happiness Ministry. In India, in schools, they're introducing a new subject which is called happiness. And why are we wanting to talk so much and introduce happiness as a subject? Because something which was our own, our innate, our normal, we seem to not be creating it very often because we labeled other creations as normal. Is it possible to be happy always? Is it possible to be happy always? One, let's see what it means to be happy. Happiness means when people are not my way, when situations are not my way. I will advise, I will request, I will instruct, but I will remain stable inside happiness. When here, there is ease, there is stillness. There is no fluctuation and disturbance. Why, how, what, when, why, me, every time, me. No. The mind is still, thinking less, thinking right, and responding to the scene. That's happiness. And that happiness, that stability, that ease, we can call it peace, we can call it happiness. The emotion is of ease and stillness, and opposite to that is a disturbance, a turbulence. Can I be at ease and still always, even when people and situations are not my way? Is it possible? Is it possible? Yes? Is it possible? Simple equation. One equation. The first one I learned when I came to the Brahma Kumaris. Before I even learned meditation, before I even learned spiritual principles of living. Gradually tilt your face down. Just gradual. Very easy. It starts going there and we have to just bring it like this. Just a couple of times before the mind says, okay, this is not what they want, this is what they want. It's about changing a habit. Not allowing the mind to do something that it's got habituated, but taking it gently to doing something which is right for me. So the first thing that I learned at the Brahma Kumaris was changing a habit, changing a sanskar, nature, is the easiest thing to do. And what I believed earlier was that changing a habit is the, what do we believe? Changing a habit is the, and sometimes we are taught, it's in the genes. So we say, it's in my genes, I can't change. Or some people will say, it's in my zodiac sign, I was born in October. So, October means I have to be like this. June means I have to be this. Every time we were saying this, we were giving up the personal responsibility to create a change. And we were saying, this is who I am and this is how I will be. And then came a feeling of being a victim to people and situations saying, I want to be happy only if they change then it's possible. Living with this person,
working with this person and then we tried another option of changing the people we live with one marriage we tried all options one option we tried to change them you know what can you be like this instead of like this so we tried to change them it didn't work so we said okay now i change you only <laughs> because i tried to change you you didn't change so now i change the person we tried everything we only didn't try one thing and that was to change me and change me didn't mean that i had to change my sanskars my personalities according to be like them change me just meant i shift from allowing my mind to be dependent on people and situations for how i feel to creating the power to respond the right way when people and situations are their way earlier we live a life of a victim and say they behaved like this obviously i will get angry obviously i will get hurt obviously i will upset obviously i will be worried and spirituality said happiness peace love is the only obvious feeling because that is who i am that is who every being is that is who every soul is so that was the first beautiful learn thing i learned at the brahma kumaris no blaming people and situations for what i'm creating people are here the children are there their parents are there they are not being my way what i create here whose choice what i create here in response to an outer situation is whose choice can i say they are not doing what i'm asking them to do obviously i'll get irritated can i say that or i have a choice to remain stable think behavior situation outside emotion created here are they creating my emotions or am i creating my emotion in response to the outer situation who's creating it who's creating it who is creating it how many of you feel they create my emotions no they irritate me ever said that to somebody you irritate me and then over a period of time we don't even say you irritate me we say irritating person <laughs> such an irritating person which means this person equals to irritation every time i think like this i speak like this i'm giving the power <laughs> i'm giving the power of what i create and how i feel to other people control me and then being happy always will not be possible one equation today we are going to change and this one equation can change destiny it will change how i feel it will change how my body responds it will change how my relationships will be it will change how the world will be and that one equation is people and situations outside maybe my way may not be my way maybe completely another way but what i create here in response to what they are doing and how they are behaving what i create here is checking every situation in life what i create here is close your eyes for 10 seconds bring on the screen of your mind one person 
who till this morning had the power to irritate you. See them behave that way, just that way, their way, their normal way. And look at yourself with them. Their behavior is their behavior. It's outside. What I create, my choice. It's my choice. I am the creator of my thought, my feeling. My every word I speak now, my behavior, Till this morning, I was choosing to create irritation. I was choosing to create irritation. Now, I choose to remain stable. I am a powerful being. I am a powerful being. Independent of everything outside. And this moment, I am choosing to be happy even when people are not my way. I am a powerful being. Look at yourself with them. They continue to be the way they feel is right for them. I change. I conserve energy. I choose power. I respond with stability. Okay, Ji, please open your eyes. How many of you were able to see someone there? Now, what we've just done, this is 20 seconds, 30 seconds. What we've just done is sit back and talk to my mind and teach it the way to respond tomorrow morning when I am with the same person behaving the same way, they behaving the same way and I responding another way. We've just created the thought, visualized ourselves with stability and we've just created the programming here. This is one way of living. Another way of living is very irritating person. They irritate me. You know, this is also an affirmation. They irritate me. Then I only don't just create the thought for myself. I go for a cup of coffee with my friend and say, you know, they're so irritating. And my friend, my colleague will say, you're absolutely right. He's extremely irritating, not even very irritating. That's also meditation. Meditation means take a thought, take a thought, repeat that, visualize that, record it here. 
but we have a choice whether to meditate on irritation or whether to meditate on power and stability. Two different languages. What we teach our mind is how it will be. How many of you believe and have faith in yourself that tomorrow you can respond with stability to the same person? Tomorrow they will not overpower you. Tomorrow they will not overpower you. No? And in that one moment where we do not allow them to overpower us, we are choosing happiness and peace. And when we choose happiness and peace in that moment, we save energy. If we create irritation, we deplete energy. And after that one scene, we come into the next scene. Again, something not my way. I've already wasted energy in the previous scene. So my chances of reacting in the next scene will? My chances of reacting in the next scene will? Will be higher. And this person was only irritating. The next person turns out to be? And I create a more turbulent energy and next and next. And now I reached a stage where I said stress is normal. Being happy always is not possible. And 20 seconds of being with ourselves, teaching our mind another way of thinking. And you raised your hand to say, tomorrow I can respond with stability to the same person. And when you do that, it will be a one minute scene. And when you respond with stability, what did we do at that moment? We conserve energy. We save energy, take it to the next scene. Chances of us responding with stability will increase. Save energy, take it to the next scene. And while we're doing that, we are going to be choosing to remain stable in every scene. And when we do that throughout the day and six o'clock in the evening, we reach home. We are coming as happy parents to our children. You know what the world needs today the most? Happy parents coming home to their children.